Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Oh, Shannon had a bike under each arm. <laughs> Guns. Guns. <laughs> Thanks for your, thank you very much for your donations. Of course, as expected, the colder air has arrived and it'll linger through a better part of the weekend. Now, this is not extreme. It's not record-breaking. But considering, you know, the, how mild the, the autumn has been of late, this is certainly noticeable. Uh, high temps today in the upper 30s. We should be a good 5, 6 degrees uh, colder uh, for tomorrow afternoon. Live pictures from Providence. Skies are clear. The wind is still busy. So the 32 in Warwick feels more like 22. So there's a definite wind. Chill. In fact, the wind chills at times will be dropping through the teens. So heading out tonight, obviously bundle up, but no precipitation, uh, dry roads, no rain or snow yet. On Doppler radar locally is pretty quiet, but uh, some big snows across upstate New York, what we call lake effect snows, as the cold air passes over the lakes, it picks up moisture, and then downwind you get uh, these uh, lake effect snows. It'll continue, but not a factor in our forecast. Though a couple of flurries trying to work into the Berkshires of Massachusetts. Here's the wider view in the air coming out of Canada right now. The cold temperatures across the northern plains in Canada, that continues to be the, the source region where the air is coming from over the weekend. When we're not talking sub-zero, but certainly uh, colder than average now through at least uh, Sunday evening. All right, we're getting real close. Take a look at your future cast starting off this evening. And again, heading out uh, just clear, dry, blustery, and cold weather. As you see the numbers uh, heading down into the upper teens to lower 20s. So by 7 o'clock in the morning, waking up the sunshine, only 20 to 24 to start the day and even with all day sunshine the recovery is only around 31 degrees so it's a bright day it's dry but it's cold by a good uh, you know running 10 degrees below average and then we're going to set up for another pretty cold night tomorrow night your Saturday night heading out uh, Christmas parties and holiday parties it looks fine just another cold one with temperatures by 9 o'clock tomorrow evening at around 25 to 26 so here's the breakdown for uh, tomorrow morning, mostly sunny, windy, and cold. Uh, temperatures er early on in the upper teens and dropping down to the, uh, actually rising to the mid-20s. And then tomorrow afternoon, a bright, dry, very cold day. Afternoon high temperatures not much higher than the freezing mark. By 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we're looking at 32. Okay, talk of snow, ice, and rain. That arrives on Sunday. It's, it's not so much during the day, but rather Sunday evening and Sunday night. So travel plans later Sunday night. It's cold enough initially to support some snow and perhaps some small accumulations here Sunday night. As we get into Monday, this is where things get tricky, especially for the Monday morning commute. We start to see a transition from snow over to sleet and some rain, and then eventually changing to rain Monday afternoon. Temperature at 40, drying out Tuesday, another messy mixture Wednesday with snow and rain, and a temperature at 41. So this could certainly be high impact in terms of travel for the Monday morning commute. Not out of the question to pick up one, two, three inches of snow before the change over to rain. I know that's an early number at this stage in the game. Check back with the uh, with us over the weekend to see how this all plays out. But again, it's not until Sunday night into Monday. Speaking of Monday, Monday night football, by the time the Patriots play, most of this mess should be out of here. That's good news. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Tony.